Hi, I'm John Griesbach with Diamond H2O. Today I just want to talk to you about uh, programming your Reliant or Reliant XL water softener. Uh, model number is DRS4 or DRS5. I'm um, going to just jump right in. It's going to be the basic programming. So uh, first off, you had a power outage. You might have some dashes blinking on your screen. Um, and you might just see the time of day is off. What you're going to do, uh, you can go ahead and just press the up or the down arrow. It doesn't matter. If you press the up arrow, you get to scroll through and you'll see there's an arrow that moves on the screen. You scroll through different uh, items to program. Whatever you stop on, you can program. So we're going to start with your time of day. To program anything on this, you go to the item you want programmed, in this case time of day. You're going to press the square button, which is the set button. That time of day will start to blink. Currently we're at 9.55, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to 9.55 a.m. You see when it's p.m., a p.m. comes up on the display. So I'm going to scroll to 9.55, 9.56 a.m. If you just press one at a time, it goes slow. If you hold it in, it progressively gets faster. So we're going to get to 9.55, 9.56. We're going to hit square again. That saves it. Now it goes to the next programming step. If you're done and all you wanted to program was your time of day, you're done. Just stop, don't press anything. It'll, after 30 seconds, go back to the normal display. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and change the day of the week. There's an arrow pointing at the day of the week. Hit set again, that arrow starts to blink. Use the up arrow to scroll across the screen, down to go back, go left, up to go right. We're gonna to go to Wednesday, hit the square button to save. Now it goes to the next step. Again, if you're done at this point, just stop. Don't push anything else. Don't get excited. It, it'll just go back to the normal display. It's been saved. Um, now it's showing us the time of regeneration. It's showing 2 a.m. If you want to change it, hit the square button. It blinks up or down, just like the time of day. We're going to save it at 2 a.m. Hit the square button again. It's saved. Now it goes to the item that says days. This is the day override. Right now it's set at zero. If you, for any reason you want it to go off every so many days, no matter what, you can go ahead and just hit the square button. It'll start to blink. And you can change that from 0.5 to 99 days. At zero, that function is off. Typically it's off. Next, we're gonna to go to salt amount. It says, uh, it looks like a five. Everyone thinks that's five. It's actually S as standard. Hit the square button, which is the set button, and it'll start blinking. You can either set it for high, standard or low standard is the default standard is where most people need to be uh, if you're going to low or high it's going to affect your capacities but that's something uh, typically uh, only you do with a technician on uh, on site uh, or with a, a purpose uh, behind it go ahead hit square to save it next it goes to capacity i'm just going to go back here i'm going to go back to the salting just to show you, if we change that to high, the capacity number changes. So it automatically changes that capacity number. So you can go ahead and um, just leave your capacity at whatever it's, it says. That's based on the size of the system that initially was set for. The only time you'd want to change this is if uh, the system's older and you want to adjust it to regenerate more frequently because you're losing capacity. So right now we're leaving it at what the default is. We'll hit square, square again to save it. Now it goes to your hardness. You can hit square, the hardness starts to blink, and you can change that to whatever your incoming water hardness is along with your, your iron. Um, that number is done based on a water test. Um, so if you have a good water test, you can plug that number in here. Um, if not, get your water tested before adjusting this number. Uh, adjust it to whatever you want. I'm gonna adjust it to 25, and we're gonna hit save. Now we're back to the time of day and it shows us our capacity. So we've gone through all the programming. Uh, that's all I want to cover today.